Here we go, my cigar smoking, fancy car driving, lady killing ass. I'm not Andrew Tate. What I am begins. The first is that there is not one of you fools out of a hundred out there watching that is going to hook up with a girl that is rated as a six or more in current 2024 society. And furthermore, not going to be able to attain the status of top G. Not by a damn sight. <laughs> Andrew Tate is very mean. I'm not Andrew Tate. Thanks for having me, Pierce Morgan. It's always a pleasure. Not really. But mother raised me to be civil anyway. I'm sure your wife has very little pleasure these days with that waistline collapsing the London Bridge and that double chin of yours multiplying exponentially, my guy. How in the world did you rise to such prominence in this reel anyway? It ain't your looks by a damn sight, nor is it your pleasant demeanor, nor your extensive background training or education. Must have blown some power to be under the table real good, I suppose. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're diving deep into one of the most anticipated political events of the upcoming year, the 2024 U.S. presidential election. Joining me to discuss Donald Trump and President Joe Biden and all the little people in between, I'm thrilled to welcome entrepreneur, social media star, world champion, kickboxer, lady killer and controversial figure, Andrew Tate. Welcome, Andrew. It's interesting you mentioned that Trump's campaign promises are always bold and straightforward, much like yourself, Andrew. But while Trump is playing the womanizing martyr, as it were, Biden's approach seems more tape measured and policy driven and engineered by his puppeteers almost to the last word. Do you think this difference in style will play a crucial role in swaying voters or is this a mere charade and a silly little pretense to the day they coronate the big orange man once again? Or it could demonstrate that the legal system can be manipulated for political reasons. And this is a travesty. And that is coming from a guy who had something happen to him after a night of working out and playing with his kids, had his home invaded by 33 armed agents of the Matrix. Come whisk me away clad in hoodie in the middle of the night to a Romanian jail cell whose cockroaches to this day ask, how's Top G going? Be that as it may, this conviction appears politically motivated. It might rally his base even more maybe even swing undecided voters who are sick of perceived establishment bias. The back-ass wards opposite of what the lefty loose were going for. I swear the left must be headed by an individual of Polish ancestors. Let's get straight to it. The 2024 election is shaping up to be a monumental clash between President Biden and former President Trump once again. Despite Trump's recent toe stub with the US judicial system, if you like, has only galvanized his supporters and had the opposite effect of what the lefties had intended. What's your take on their potential rematch? Well, my guy, social media is crucial. It's where the battle for public opinion is really fought, town square and all that. Both Trump and Biden know this, and their teams are undoubtedly crafting strategies to dominate these platforms. The reach and influence of social media can't be overstated. It's where people get their news, form their opinions, and decide who to support. And let's be honest, Trump's social media game is strong, believe you me. He knows how to work the crowd, and that's a significant advantage, it goes without saying. Spectacle is certainly one way to put it, but let's dive deeper. Trump's recent rallies have drawn massive crowds, and there's a palpable sense of nostalgia among his supporters. On the other hand, Biden's administration has faced significant challenges from the COVID-19 pandemic to economic issues. It is no secret that Sleepy Joe, if you like, is about to take a very long walk down a very short pier of senility any second now. Who do you think has the upper hand right now? And I could say that you're constantly critical without acknowledging any of his successes. What about the economy, foreign policy strides, employment rates, and holding those bastard migrants at bay? Do those achievements vanish because of personal faults? I have said it time and time again that this year, 2024, will be a referendum as far as extrapolating how geopolitics will shape the future in this one of the most tumultuous times in history. The amount of world leaders changing guards is astounding this year, and the matrix sits back idle in a very ominous playground. Accountability should be fair and balanced. 
You can't just ignore the continuous bias and attacks Trump faced from day one. If every president was scrutinized like Trump, we'd likely see similar dirt. Peers come off it. Are we really going to hold Trump to higher standards than other politicians? Many have done much worse and yet faced fewer consequences. This is just blown out of proportion by the media who can't stand him because he's an outsider shaking things up. The very definition of a matrix attack. Yes, Andrew, but being a leader isn't just about policies, it's about character and ethics. If the leader of the free world is convicted for such an act, it erodes America's image globally and domestically. Now you have been one to blow Trump's horn, as it were, but even you have to admit that this is quite a bad optic, if nothing else, for the orange man. Eat a dick, Pierce. Or it could demonstrate that the legal system can be manipulated for political reasons. And this is a travesty. And that is coming from a guy who had something happen to him after a night of working out and playing with his kids, had his home invaded by 33 armed agents of the Matrix. Come whisk me away clad in hoodie in the middle of the night to a Romanian jail cell whose cockroaches to this day ask, how's Top G going? Be Shaking things up, Andrew, we are talking about a man who allegedly tried to buy silence regarding his indiscretions. If we excuse this kind of behavior, what precedent are we setting? It undermines the integrity of our democratic process. Talk about blowing things. I got an instrument for you to blow, you pompous fat blow, hard bloke. And that would be, wait for it, D's nuts. Oh, <laughs> it's not about excusing behavior, peers. It's about perspective. Politicians have skeletons in their closets. Trump might have his flaws, but he also has policies that resonate with a large portion of the American population and by proxy, the Anglosphere. Shouldn't their voices count too? And maybe they should be scrutinized that closely. Why should anyone get a pass? High office should have high standards. If Trump wants to run again, he needs to face the music of his actions. The economy, healthcare, and security are always top issues. For Trump, it's about bringing back jobs, boosting American industry, and taking a tough stance on immigration and international trade. He's going to play up the economic growth and the low unemployment rates from his first term. Biden, meanwhile, will focus on building on his achievements in handling the pandemic, pursuing health care reforms, and tackling climate change. Both will offer starkly different solutions, and voters will have to decide which vision they trust more. Those don't vanish, but they shouldn't overshadow serious legal issues. Leadership demands accountability. Ignoring this because of perceived successes is a dangerous precedent. Pierce Trump is the only motherfucker that could be thrown in a political shit puddle and stand up smelling like a rose. When are you going to realize that? And I could say that you're constantly critical without acknowledging any of his successes. What about the economy, foreign policy strides, employment rates, and holding those bastard migrants at bay? Do those achievements vanish because of personal faults? I have said it time and time again that this year, 2024, will be a referendum as far as extrapolating how geopolitics will shape the future in this one of the most tumultuous times in history. The amount of world leaders changing guards is astounding this year, and the matrix sits back idle in a very ominous playground. Andrew, it's rather clear to anyone with a modicum of common sense that if a former president is convicted of such a crime, it seriously tarnishes his reputation and disqualifies him from holding public office. This isn't just a minor scandal, it's a significant legal and moral failing. Eat a dick, Pierce. Pierce, your old head sense of humor is about as inviting as that puke collar tie. How does any wife worth her weight in salt? Let her worse half. Well, Morgan, in your case, three halves, Go outside the flat looking like that. But be that as it may, underestimating the American, they can see through what's a real issue and what's a witch hunt, it seems. There is always the left's half-ass interference, but Trump's supporters believe these charges are part of a long-term smear campaign. Thanks as always, Pierce. Always a pleasure to spar with you over American politics, indeed. It is evident to even 90-year-old Stevie Wonder that you cannot hold a candle up to me in the looks department, my guy. You are one of the most off-putting, cock-sucking, arrogant, pompous, 
longly winded, shortly endowed sons of bitches in the media I have ever encountered, but you are real good for a quick rating spike in a pinch, my guy. That will do it for this one. If you would like us to exploit or make goofy jokes about something other than sports, please leave feedback via the comment section below. If you prefer us to direct our talents towards provocative Reddit stories, unusual stuff posted on Twitter do make your voice heard below. Being that BJ is living off his savings and I am an artificially engineered figure E, we have all day to scour the internet for these types of diamonds in the muff. Ah, oh, diamonds in the rough. Okay. Well, for BJ, D, this is the Andrew Tate puppet saying, don't simp, don't cuck. Say no to dope and be kind to animals. As for what you do to humans, I could care less and see you in the next. To make a personal request, receive channel merchandise or to just hook a brother up, hit up the cash app on the screen or make a contribution to the PayPal shown on the screen.